welcome to my channel. Today I am working off of a sketch. This is for the wild hair kit. So here's a sketch right here that you can see. There's the picture I'm using and this is my gorgeous wild hair kit. It is loaded with so many beautiful things. Um, Sunny Days collection, Whimsical collection. Um, so lots of really good stuff that it comes with. All right, so I... As you can see, I'm starting with that photo. I picked that photo because I thought it matched well with the colors in the kit. And um, so I wanted to um, use a pattern background, pattern paper background, but then when I looked through my papers, I just thought it would be too busy with the photo and the vibes I was going for. So I stuck with a white cardstock background. And I just get my white cardstock from Michaels. It's really, really like cheap stuff. I don't do mixed media on it. Um, if I use mixed media, then I'll use gesso or like some other kind of special paper. But otherwise, I just, uh, I, I don't really put much on this except for like mist splatters or something. So this is um, Fresh Kit, the first uh, project I'm making with it. Very exciting. So I have all all my products to open and use and it's very exciting. So in that sketch you could see that there was there were some images like going up and down the page. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I thought that would be fun to do flowers up and down the page considering my kit came with a lot of flowers and which I love. So I thought that would be the perfect element to run up and down the page. So I'm just picking out some flowers here and placing them down and, and figuring out a rough idea of how I want it to look. I do fool around with it a lot and change things a lot, but I just wanted to make sure that that would actually look good. And uh, I seem to be pretty happy with that. I don't really know what title I'm going to do. I thought I was going to do adventure, but I thought it looked really funny that the word adventure was longer than the photo and I didn't really like the way that looked. So as much as I wanted that, it just wasn't going to work for this. So in this kit, I got the, <coughs> excuse me, I got the six by eight paper pad from Sunny Days, which is so awesome. I have the entire paper pad to work with and there's some really cute patterns. Um, so yeah, I have that and then I have some individual 12 by 12 papers that I'll be using as well. Um, and I'm just starting to mat this photo. I did a really skinny mat because I, uh, yeah, I just wanted it to be subtle. And then I'm going to use some old chipboard to uh, put the, give the photo some dimension. And then I thought, oh, this might need more layers behind the photo. So I grab a doily from my stash and put that behind. And I think that looks good. And I'm looking through the paper pad to see if there are any other papers that I think will look well, look nice with, with, um, this layout and all the colors from the flowers. And I find this one and it's so pretty. I love the stripes, the bold stripes and the different colors. It's, it's um, as far as the colors go, I find it very unique. Um, yeah, so that one I wanted to use, but just have a, a thin, thin layer of it to not um, have it shine too much. And I was looking for just one more layer. Oh no, oh yes, I was, I wanted to, put a tab up there, but I never end up using that tab. I use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. I think I found it at scrapbook.com and I never end up using it, but I punched it out anyway, just in case. And then I dug into this gorgeous chipboard sheet from Sunny Days. I love it so much and um, saw that one embellishment that I thought was perfect and the floral, I cut that in half so that I'm able to use the other half on a different layout or a different project. And um, I feel like it's time to start to adhere the photo to the layout and um, get moving on it. So I'm going to put a lot of these flowers up on chipboard. Um, I wanted it to be a nice layered look and to have lots of dimension and... Yeah, like I said, layers and everything. So I do two layers of chipboard for this one because I wanted it to overlap 
that chipboard piece you see on the photo, but I also had chipboard already underneath the photo. So it was like double chipboard. So if I wanted it to layer properly, then I needed to do two, uh, two layers of chipboard, which is what I did. And so I'm going to start placing things down. Some will have no chipboard, some will. And yeah, just finding good placement and the right colors. And this yellow flower doesn't actually end up staying. It just didn't, that bright yellow didn't quite match with anything else. There just wasn't any other of that bright color in it. Even that yellow there is more of like an orange yellow in the one to the left of the photo. So um, yeah, so that bright yellow just wasn't anywhere else in the layout. So it didn't, it didn't feel like it, it fit or made sense in it. It stood out too much to me. And yeah, so I'm just going to layer up these different flowers. Uh, if you've never heard of the Wild Hair Kits, it's a kit club. Well, it's not a kit club. It's a kit, but it's not really a club. You don't um, subscribe to it where you get it every month. You just pick it out whenever you would like it, which is so awesome and convenient and um, makes you feel like you have more control of it. And um, so there are two different kinds of kits, a deluxe and a petite, and you fill out a style profile and they will curate a kit just for you for the projects you're making and the products you like to work with. And it's really awesome. And you get a surprise at your door with these beautiful products and a kit that was personally made just for you. So it's really awesome. I love it. So for the title, I wanted to do a combination of different types of like fonts. So I took the trip from that thicker pack that I have and then the fun from the Maggie Holmes chipboard and the title is fun trip. It's not very, it's not a very exciting title, but it is what it is. And I think it works. Um, yeah. And I think it looks cute. I think more than anything, it's pleasing to the eye than uh, is actually interesting, but I don't really care about how interesting the title is as much as I do about how it looks, if that makes sense. Um, I don't really need an interesting title to enjoy my layout, if that makes any sense at all. And now I'm finding, trying to look for different ways to layer up around in the flower, flower arrangements. I don't know what to call it. And I find these cute hearts in the chipboard. So I, I scatter those around my layout and I'm loving how it's looking so far but I feel like it needs something more in the flowers. I, d I didn't really know where to go with it. And then I was going to take that one off, but that didn't work. So I was like, okay, that's there for good now. And you'll see in a second that I try to take that heart on the photo off too. But that doesn't work either. So I'm like, okay, let's go to the enamel dots. I always love enamel dots and I know they'll work. So let's just do that and then we'll see what I think after that because I felt like it still needed something more but I didn't really know where to go with it. So I put the enamel dots on and then I go to the chipboard and think what if I just put like random items throughout the chipboard because it doesn't totally have to make sense right. Um, I kind of just wanted it flowers that's why I was looking at all the flower die cuts but they or the chipboard but they just stood out way too much. Um, so then I grab some other little things like, you'll see in a second, I thought maybe a tag somewhere, but that wasn't working. And then this airplane I bring in and I actually do end up keeping that one there. And this, I think I keep the sunglasses and I just put little images, little stickers around the layout. And I think that actually really helped it make it look more full and complete and put together. So I'm happy that I decided that in the end because originally I just wanted it to be um, flowers and maybe some hearts sprinkled throughout, but I like the way that looks with the different items sprinkled in the flowers. And now I'm going to take this Tattered Angels Mist Spray that I'm almost out of, so I'm going to need a new black mist spray eventually, but I'm just going to lightly mist that or, or spray, not spray it, but... Um, you know, make some 
some droplets around the page and that really completed it off. So I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have the links for the wild hair kits down below if you're curious and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.